This is a Galaxy Note 9. And that's not what you think. Hey guys, Modern Dad, Dan Gage, Fat Dan, Brown Guy, whatever, English Dan, you name it, you can call it me. Don't care. Anyway, so you just seen me throw my Galaxy Note 9, and it wasn't in disgust. You may think it was in disgust, but it wasn't. The reason it wasn't in disgust and the reason I threw it is because of this. This is the Armadillo Tech Tough Armor Case. Now, what it says here, because it has a screen front protector, you're going to need to change the touch sensitivity on this. So, that's the first thing that I did. But even with lower, uh, without the touch sen sensitivity turned on, I had no issues with this whatsoever. So let's talk about a bit of this case. What do you get with it? Well, mine came in a brown box, so I wasn't going to show you the box, but it comes with the instructions on how to use the kickstand. Pretty simple, but I'll show you that in a second. Um, how to get your extra sensitive touch screen option turned on. It's in this little leaflet here. It comes in this with Armadillo Tech. It has the website, armadillotech.com. Designed in Texas. So, there you go, designed in America. And then, I think this is a good gesture. A lot of companies don't do things like this. They actually stick in a business card for UNICEF. Fair play, UNICEF's a good charity. They help a lot of people. And then, you get a business card from Armadillo Tech. Again, www.armadillotech.com. Legendary protection from Texas. You know everything goes big in Texas. Can you end there? Of course. So, on the back of my business card, anyway, that I got sent is thank you for your business. We're a startup small business from the Dallas Fort Worth area in Texas. UNICEF just blew away, but I'll go and get it in a minute. Designed and engineered for adventures, Armadillo Tech products provide ultimate protection for your digital devices from the daily grind and explore. This case comes with a one year limited warranty for all situations, including a free replacement, our refund without return, and more. But the screen protector is not included in that. What you gotta do, you gotta go to the Armadillo Tech website. You need to activate your warranty once you've got the case. You can also find them on Twitter, and they're really good on Twitter. They help a lot of people, they interact with a lot of people, and share people's. Um, even if it's not their product, they will share and help them out. Uh, trying to get their reviews out, things like that. They're a real good bunch. So if you want to follow them on Twitter, it's at Armadillo Tech. I'll put the link down there along with my link. You can also email them as well and if you've got any issues. So then the next thing you get is the installation card. So this is what you get for installation. And it's super simple, but make sure you do it this way. I will take my case off and show you how to do it in a moment. So also has an installation video if you're not sure on how to follow this on their website armadillotech.com so it's going to make it really simple for you so i'll show you quick how to this is how to remove the case so it's a two-piece case the outside piece is like a, a impact protected rubber what you do you crack that around the corners from the front piece and then just pull and the phone comes out real easy but if you'll notice, the phone is actually locked into the front. And this is where people will probably go wrong when they first try to install the phone into this case when they very first get it. So what you gotta do with this case, the screen protector is already attached. So it's already in there, you don't have to worry about it. Ooh, it's a hot day today, my phone is hot. So what you do, put this face down, put your phone in, face down, give it a firm push, you'll hear it click in and you grab your phone and the way I find it easiest is going from the top so I put the two top corners in first and then I come down to the bottom I slide my finger around this side that's that side done, I slide my finger down this side and that's it now fully protected this is like um, the other brand you can get that cost $50, $60 where they come with the plastic screen protector they come with the um, chunkier plastic back with the rubber but this is nowhere near the price of that I'll leave links to the pricing for this down below it's actually really well priced prices could change daily but I'll put the link with the current price in it down below so you can purchase from there so the kickstand I never really cared about a kickstand until I got this case and with me doing a lot of videos now I control a lot of my camera 
with my phone and uh, this kickstand works out great so simple it just there's a little groove there you can put your finger in and it flicks up now you'll see there's actually a little bar here you just move that out and it locks into place and that's it it ain't going nowhere so your phone can then stand up this way no problem it's not gonna see or you can go the sideways which is the way I use it because it gives me maximum screen instead of portrait mode so yeah and this way I can you'll see me probably on my last video I was sat here with this and I could see what was going on on the camera so I didn't have to start pausing and so yeah the stand comes in really really handy um, the case itself is actually pretty well made the design on the back isn't too overboard sorry about the wind it's blowing everything off the table but it isn't too overboard what you get with a lot of these protection cases you try to make them look like a hockey mask or some BS like that it's you know this one's quite understated as far as that goes it's got uh, a recess for your camera so your camera is always going to be protected you know no matter how hard you bang it down nothing is going to hit that camera lens or the fingerprint sensor it's nicely recessed in there and what I do find is with this case I find it much easier to hit my fingerprint sensor than with even without a case because it has a lip here but it's angled down towards the fingerprint so it's super easy to find you just direct your finger to the fingerprint sensor so it's actually really helpful for them the screen protector on the front does not affect your viewing whatsoever it's really nice actually it's very very clear crystal clear and easy to clean as well um, on the side of this you have rubber buttons here these are for your volume but they're very easy to press they're not stiff or anything like that you've got the dreaded Bixby button that nobody cares about and then on this side you've got the power button then on the bottom you've got your S Pen so your S Pen can still click out no problem pulls out with ease not a problem and then you've got the bottom speaker right there to cut out for that and then there's a flap here to protect your USB-C connector from dirt, grime, water, anything like that and then there's another flap here to protect your 3.5mm headphone jack isn't that amazing? It's got a 3.5mm headphone jack. I guess that took courage. Oh, I'm taking digs out. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, it's a really, really good case. Oh, and the other thing, and I've seen people asking, when it comes to the sensors and the speaker and the front-facing camera on the top of this, there's actually cutouts in the protector around where all your sensors are at the top, so it does not interfere whatsoever. It does leave them exposed, but still, it makes sure that you get the maximum sound quality maximum uh, picture quality from your front facing camera and also allows the sensors not to you know get any reflection or anything and do things crazy so yeah now there is a couple of things that I would change with this case and it's constructive criticism and I've already spoken to Armadillo Tech the back is a little smooth okay it's a little slippery the edges are great because they're made out of rubber and they've got this grip around the side it's like a tire tread in a way it goes all the way around so it, it gives you a lot of grip so you don't really hold it from the back but you, you could if you're just picking it up it's easy for it to slip so if you could put like a like a rougher surface like a sandstone kind of surface on the back even if they had to charge more like a premium version of it I think it'd help out a lot but then again even if it does slip hey you're in an armadillo case so it ain't gonna break that's the whole idea of it so yeah, what do I think of the Armadillo case for the Note 9? I actually love it. I think it's really good. Um, for the price you pay, you get really, really good protection. You can throw the phone anywhere. And it's got a screen protector that's really high quality. It doesn't add an amazing amount of bulk to the phone like a lot of other cases in this area do. I mean, you can add like half an inch to your phone. This doesn't. It's pretty slim. It does exactly what it says it's going to. So I highly recommend the Armadillo Tech case. Links down below, make sure you go and buy it. This is how much I rate it. Bye.